Yo, what is good YouTube? It is your boy King Tiba bringing you another great build video. Now in this video, I will be showing you the new best build in NBA 2K20. And of course, I will have some gameplay of this overpowered build dominating in the park. So make sure to watch the whole video so you do not miss that. And also, I will be showing you the correct badges you should be using for this build. But anyways, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. I'm gonna be making a lot more great build videos, so make sure you turn on post notifications, that way you stay updated every time I upload. But now, with all that being said, let me show you exactly how to create the new best build in NBA 2K20. All right, what is up everyone? Now real quick, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I wanna let you know that this channel is all about NBA 2K20. I upload almost every day. I make best build videos, tips, tutorials, and face creations, and I make all these videos in high quality with cool edits. So if you play 2K and you wanna watch some dope 2K videos, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. You will not regret it, trust me. And turn on post notifications, that way you stay updated every time I upload. And if you're on a desktop or laptop, you can click on my logo at the bottom right of the screen to subscribe. Okay, but now with that out of the way, let's head over to the My Player Builder so I can show you exactly how to make the new best build in NBA 2K20. And like I said before, I will have some gameplay of this overpowered build dominating in the park, so make sure to watch the whole video for that. But now let's head over to the My Player Builder so we can go ahead and get things started. All right, we have arrived in the My Player Builder. Now to start things off, go ahead and make your position a shooting guard, then just choose whatever hand you're most comfortable with using in this game. And of course, the jersey number is all up to you. Now let's go ahead and click continue. Now here is where we pick our pie chart. And to make the new best build in NBA 2K20, you're gonna have to pick the playmaking defending pie chart. And if you don't know about this pie chart, basically we'll be able to do everything. We can attack the rim, shoot threes, break ankles, and of course we can lock up on the defensive end. So let's go ahead and pick playmaking, defending. Now for the physical profile, and as always, pick the one with the most speed. Okay, now here is where we set our potential. And let's just start with the finishing category. And here what you wanna do is max your close shot, your driving layup, and of course max your driving dunk. Now let's just move down to the shooting category. Now when it comes to shooting with this build, you wanna make sure we get the most shooting badges we can get. So in order to do that, we're just gonna max everything out in this category. Later in this video, I will show you the best shooting badges to equip for this build, so stay tuned for that. But all right, now let's move on to playmaking. And here let's max the pass accuracy, and of course we gotta max the ball handling. All right, now last we got the defense and rebounding category. And here what you wanna do is max your perimeter defense, your lateral quickness, your steal, and your block. And put your defensive rebound on 70. Okay, now when all that's done, you will get 10 finishing badges, 10 shooting badges, 18 playmaking, and 17 defensive. So just by looking at all these badges, you can already tell this build will be able to do almost everything on the offensive end and the defensive end. And like I said before, make sure to watch the whole video because I will be breaking down the best badges to equip for this build. But now let's continue on. And for his body shape, it is all up to you. Pick whatever one you like using in this game. Now for his height, you're gonna wanna make him 6'5". And I say 6'5", because if you make him 6'6", you will see almost everything gets worse. So make sure you make him 6'5". Next for his weight, you're gonna wanna make him the lowest weight possible. All right, and for his wingspan, I'm gonna leave mine on default, but if you wanna lower yours, go ahead. I personally don't like having little arms on my player, but that's just me. All right, now we just need to pick the takeover. And the takeover that you're gonna wanna pick is the slasher takeover. With this takeover, you'll be able to get insane contact dunks. But anyways, now you will see that you get a two-way slashing playmaker, AKA the new best build in NBA 2K20. Now, if you made it this far into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like. But now, let's go ahead and get right into the best badges to equip for this build. All right, now we are just gonna start with the finishing badges. And as you can see, we get 10 badge upgrades. So the first badge you're gonna wanna equip is Contact Finisher. And make sure you max it out on gold. 
And if you don't know what this badge does, it basically improves the ability to convert contact layups, dunks, and traffic, and slashers who play below the rim finish contact layups more successfully, while dunkers are able to pull off more contact dunks. This badge is basically like Posterizer from other 2Ks. I don't know why they changed it, but they changed it in this game. All right, now onto the second badge, Fancy Footwork. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you max this badge on gold also. And what this badge does is it improves a player's ability to beat defenders with advanced layup or dunk gathers. Players that get past defenders more effectively when performing Euro, Cradle, Hop Step, Spin, and Half Spin gathers. So basically if you do Hop Steps a lot in this game, you're gonna wanna make sure you run this badge. Okay, and the next badge you wanna make sure you equip is Giant Slayer. What this badge does is it provides a boost when taking contested layups against taller players. The boost increases as the height differential gets larger. So basically the taller your opponent is, the more boost you get to your layups. All right, now the last finishing badge is gonna be Pro Touch. And this badge gives an additional boost for having good layup timing. And it gives an extra shot boost for having slightly early, slightly late, or excellent shot timing on layups. Now, moving on to the shooting badges. And here, since we only got 10 badge upgrades, we gotta make sure we use them correctly. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is max out range extender. And if you don't know what range extender does, it adds extra distance to a player's given shot range for both mid-range and three-point shots. So this is a very important badge to have when it comes to shooting in this game. Okay, and next, put quick draw on either gold or silver. I'm comfortable with mine on silver, so that's what I like to use. Okay, then the next badge is catch and shoot. And then we got corner specialist on silver. Okay, so that is gonna be it for the shooting category. Now let's go ahead and move on to playmaking. All right, now here, the first badge you wanna make sure you equip is handles for days and max it out on Hall of Fame. What this badge does is a player takes less of an energy hit when performing consecutive dribble moves, allowing them to chain together combos quicker for longer periods of time. So if you like to ISO, you are definitely gonna wanna run this badge. Now moving on to quick first step. And what this badge does is when driving out of a triple threat or after a size up, ball handlers have access to quicker and more effective launches. Now I always make sure I got this badge maxed out on all of my players and I like to have it maxed out on Hall of Fame. All right, now moving on, we got Space Creator and I got mine on gold. And what this badge does is when performing any step back move or shot, there's a higher chance of successfully creating separation from your opponent. Okay, next I got Stop and Go and this badge allows the ball handler to start and stop quickly with unique stops and launches exclusive to this badge. And I got this badge on gold also. Then I got Ankle Breaker also on gold. I'm sure you all know what this badge does, but I'll just go ahead and read you what it says it does. When performing step backs or other certain moves, the defender stumbles or falls more frequently when biting the wrong way. All right, now last, I got Tight Handles, and this is on bronze since I only had one badge upgrade left. Okay, next we got the defensive badges, and here you're gonna wanna equip clamps, and what clamps does is defenders have access to quicker cutoff moves and are more successful when bumping or hip riding the ball handler, and make sure to max this out on Hall of Fame. The next badge you should equip is Intimidator, and I recommend you put it on Hall of Fame also. And what Intimidator does is offensive players have less success shooting when contested by players with this badge. Now moving on to Interceptor, and I recommend you put this badge also on Hall of Fame. Basically this badge lets you get more steals in the passing lane. Then next I got Pick Dodger, and this badge helps when trying to get around those screens. All right, now the last defensive badge I have is Pickpocket on Bronze. So that is gonna be it for the best badges to use for this build. Now if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos like this one, make sure to smash the subscribe button and leave a like. And if you guys wanna help me get gameplay for these videos, make sure to add King Tiba on the PlayStation Network and I would be down to play with any of you guys. And just to let you all know, in NBA 2K21, I plan on being one of the first people to drop best build videos. And of course, I will have gameplay of my builds in the park. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my channel for those videos. But anyways, I wanna thank you all for supporting this channel. This channel has been growing so fast recently. It's all because of you guys. Now make sure you turn on post notifications because I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of great build videos and you do not wanna miss them, trust me. And make sure to comment below if you plan on making this build or if you already have this build, let me know how you like it. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I hope to see you all in my next video.